Hey guys, what the hell is up? It's Mr. Underload. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys started on why I have the Glocks, why I have more Glocks than anything else. And um, to most people that don't understand that, the reason why I cast our game to him was the fact that, well, I didn't realize until afterwards, but the way you should look at a Glock is literally the fact that you can make it your own. It's just like an AR-15. Most people love AR-15s, you can customize everything on there. Literally, the Glock has the same concept going on with it. Everything I've ever known of a Glock has been turned upside down when I started seeing Salient Arms, um, agency arms and Zeph. Um, they literally split the script and make these things look like anything but blocks. So to think about it is just the fact that there's so many companies out there that can replace all these parts on there and the platform is just it's just riddled with everybody else who wants to get into this market and makes parts on parts on parts for blocks. So to get you guys started let me show you guys what I've gotten over the last couple of years. It's a total of six right now. I'm hoping to extend it but we'll see about that later. Okay, first one I ever got was my Glock 40. This was a 22 Gen 3. I ended up getting, for my first game, I was a Springfield XD. I fucking hated it. I uh, went ahead and returned it <laughs> after I shot it, so I lost some money out on it and used the difference to buy this guy. Uh, this one's been modified a bit, just a ghost trigger and a steel spring guide, but nothing crazy. This is the second gun I actually purchased with. A 9mm, so I get into 9mm, we'll say I actually shot one. Uh, went over to the gun shop and immediately purchased a Glock 17. And it appears good to get you a plus 3, a TLR1 uh, with a light from Streamlight, Ghost Trigger, and a Steel Guider for this one as well. Third gun I got after that was another 9mm because I started kind of shrinking down to fit more into the concealability part. Uh, wrong choice, anyways, because it's still basically almost considered a full size gun because I think the LPD carries the Glock 19. So, Glock 19, uh, Gen 3, Gen 4 actually. This one uh, has a Zev Magma at the bottom that I put on there and a TLR1 Streamlight. That's about it, pretty much. Nothing else to it. And then after that, again, so then the comfortable be concealed. So, I finally got into the section where I told myself I'm never gonna get into was the subcompact section where I was like, tiny guns aren't worth carrying because they don't scare the shit out of people. And the way I look at my situation, like in my head, I'm like, I'm only going to get into some gunfight. I'm going to need all the extra ammo I can. No point in doing that. You can upgrade your guns and do the exact same thing. So I gave up on it, but this is actually my daily carry all the time. 10 rounds, 9mm, and uh, yeah, Glock, uh, yeah, sorry, Glock 26, 9mm, 10 shots. So not bad. The only modification I did to it was I added the pure scopes for the pinky because I can't, can't really fit around there. Um, second thing, oh, one of the fifth thing I bought was actually a Glock 21. This is a Gen 4, 3 mags. She's 45 ACP, 13 rounds. I can't complain about it. I've only had one other 45. It's actually sitting on the table. I'll show you guys. This is my 1911 from um, 6 Hour. Really, really nice. I love this guy. This is the rail. So, I mean, not nothing to it. I haven't done anything to it. So, that's all good. Last but not least, I do want to show you guys. You guys have already seen the video. Right? 10 mil. I uh, bought a 10 mil. Due to the fact that I watched an unfancy video, a lot of 10,000 foot pounds of force coming the fuck out of this barrel. Uh, then compared it somewhere around the range, and I don't think it's a lie, anywhere between a 41 and a 44 Magnum. So, yeah, in the range of that, the fact that it's semi automatic and it has 15 rounds, I was like, fuck yes, yeah. so you literally use this against bears. It'll perform or outperform the 45 with no issue. So I thought, no, I have another gun that does that too. It's on the table, you can see it. It's uh, <laughs> my uh, 454 Alaskan uh, Super Red Hawk. I love this gun. Uh, my second revolver for own big gun, big caliber. Uh, I, sh I got a couple videos coming up where I'm shooting it, so uh, this thing will literally, literally lift, you off, lift your foot up for, <laughs> for your stand on shooting it. It's, it's ridiculous. But I figured uh, I'm not in bear country, I never will be because I'm in Texas, but there, if I ever do go, I kind of don't want some giant, big, clunky thing on there. I've already purchased this. I love this gun, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. But just in case I, I get, it gets too heavy, I do have my 10 mil to uh, take care of that situation with any kind of bears. Am I gonna run into any bears? Fuck no. Are the rounds expensive? Yeah. Oh well. But um, this has just been a quick little look see on a couple of things I own, and I'm actually making a full video pretty soon on the armory and it sits right now. Basically, every handgun I own and a rifle, so just kind of stay tuned for that. I'm really trying to get the gear out that I've actually, you know, videos on gear that I made, and I know you guys have seen story time, so hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, 
Comment down below, like the video, subscribe. Come on, we make making videos all week and next week, and the week after that. God help me, I don't want to make any more videos. Just kidding, guys. I love this. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Comment, and uh, also follow me on Twitter. And uh, I'm always seeing something stupid on there. And you guys can help me out so you make me feel dumber. Or just comment back and let me know what you guys want to make video. Want me to make videos on? Ask, ask me questions. I'll answer them. It's not like it's not like I have any problem with that. But um, thank you guys for us being up to 50 subscribers. I think about four weeks ago we were around 20 or 18. So really appreciate you guys. Appreciate the new guys coming in. And um, thank you guys very much. Oh, one more thing, probably nobody applied for that contest. So I just don't know what to do. The the coupon are expired. So. I, I'll let you guys know if there's some other kind of contest you guys do want. Uh, I, I mean, actually, put something on. You get put something up for grabs that you guys do want. So I'll let you know once we start getting this ball rolling. I'll go and put out some more stuff. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Peace out.